<laughs> okay. Hi guys! Hi! So today we thought we would talk about some of our favorite beauty products. Yes, and we're not just going to stick to hair products today. We're actually going to talk about our favorite makeup products as well, just to create some variation. So these are a couple of the things that we can't live without personally. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay, Harjeet, why don't you start? Okay so, okay, so one of my favorite hair products that I cannot live without right now is r Co. Death Valley. So this is a dry shampoo. It's amazing. So with my hair, because I don't really like to wash my hair, um, that often I do it probably every third or fourth day um, just because I feel like who has that much time it takes a lot of time to I, style your hair I don't look at our hair we have thick hair we don't <laughs> have time to shampoo every day no. you literally have to like schedule yeah. it into your life like, and if you do kudos to you yeah good for you <laughs> I did that when I was 18 I worked two days a week and I had a lot of time on my hands. yeah <laughs> now not the same so this is amazing. I will honestly even use this the day I wash my hair too, just because I like to have a little bit more. Like my hair is huge on the sides, but I still like, it, it weighs down a lot, so I want to have a little bit more volume at the roots. So I'll use a little bit the day of, and then just go from there. Keep adding a little bit. Yeah. I really like that product too. I think it smells great, and it's not too gritty when you spray it into your hair. Yeah, it's really good. Like it doesn't make your hair feel, feel dirty at all. And it doesn't give it a white film, right? Mm -mm, no, not at all. Okay. And we have dark hair naturally, as you can see. So yeah, it's a good product. Although we pretend it's naturally blonde. Yeah. <laughs> and Amy, what about you? Okay, so I'll start with my favorite um, foundation. I really love Urban Decay's Naked Skin, and the shade that I use is uh, number six. And the reason why I really like this foundation is because it gives me really good coverage without creating a mask on my face. It's really important for me to have natural looking skin and this foundation does it for me. Um, my, my skin is naturally oily so I do have to use a powder on top but other than that I really like it because most of the time when I wear it no one can tell that I'm actually wearing foundation and that's important for me. Um, skin preference wise. She does really love it because I've heard her talk about it yeah. many times. <laughs> it's, it's really good guys so if you really if you're looking for a natural looking foundation um, go to the store get a sample and try it out. So is that like, do you feel it on your face? No, I don't feel it on my face at all. And I feel like it doesn't give me a white cast either in photos. It's really natural. Yeah. Okay, so um, I will go with my mascara. So I had um, an allergic reaction to mascara like two years ago. My eyes were like really swollen and I, it was bad. Like I couldn't go out in public. But um, yeah, ever since then, my eyes are really sensitive to makeup, um, just like the lash line, but as well as like my eyes get really red really fast, they're sensitive to like chemicals and everything. And so um, Tarte seems to work really well for me, so it's a natural, all natural product. And um, it doesn't have like, uh, it doesn't make my lashes look as thick and long as other mascaras might, just because they do have more chemicals in them. But if you're looking for like just a natural look that will still enhance your lashes a little bit, like my, my lashes are pretty short, but it just gives your eyes a little bit of a pop. Um, this is great if you have sensitive eyes. I really like it. So it's the um, Lights Camera Flashes. Nice. I like the packaging on that. I like the gold. It's really cute. And I actually have um, one of our other co-workers. She has sensitive eyes too, and she bought um, a Tarte mascara with like the purple packaging. I'm not sure which one that is, but she said that one's really good and it actually gives nice. you a little bit more um, volume in your lashes. So I do want to try that next. So that's another little tip. Maybe that would be yeah. better for you. I think that's a great tip for people with sensitive eyes. Yeah. Okay. And for my hair product, I really love the Orbe Gold Blast Oil. Um, I put this into my hair before I style it and I only put it from the mid shaft down to the end and this is a really concentrated product so really you only need two pumps if your hair is thick like mine and I just scrunch it into the end and sometimes I let it air dry or I style it out and the reason why I love this product so much is because it actually makes my hair look healthy even though it isn't. So, <laughs> so it's important, you know, if you have like chemically damaged hair or if you like to highlight your hair a lot, this is a great product to put in and just know that you will be protected from heat and uh, UV rays as well. So it's great. Yeah, that one's really nice. I love that as a finishing product too. Mm -hmm. um, a great little tip. I actually think like you guys when you went to New York Fashion Week, mm -hmm. 
and you guys used it just to break down other products so if you have too much product in your hair and you like a little bit of buildup but you don't have time to wash it you can put a little bit of that into the ends of your hair and just blow it out right and yeah. it kind of just breaks down a little bit of product so that's a really really great tip that it's I didn't great. know before um, okay, so my next product uh, is R & Co Continental. So this is a finishing wax, paste, mm -hmm. glossing wax. Yeah. Um, this is the old one, they actually reformulated it and the new one's like this really pretty like watery blue color. But, um, but this is really amazing because my ends are quite dry and I always need to put something in because even right now I, when I'm looking at it, it's a little bit like looks a little thick to me I like it to look like it has a little bit of separation so this is amazing for that because it keeps it moisturized and keeps that separation but it's not like a sticky or tacky feel at all like I don't really feel it in my hair it just absorbs right into it it's amazing and you can use this for like it's good for like um, women with short hair like a pixie like you could really yeah. give a lot of separation for that or even men like sometimes I'll style like do a men's cut and style their hair and then I'll just do this just to give it a little bit of like uh, airiness so it's yeah. not solid yeah I like that product a lot too because it's not heavy um, short or long hair um, gals can use it you don't have to have like super short hair I know the word wax sounds like it's only for short hair but long hair clients can use that as well yeah I'm actually just while Amy talks about her next one I'm going in. to put it in because <laughs> looking see, at my hair I really need it you'll see the transformation as I'm talking about the next product <laughs> I can't help myself. No problem. So the next product that I absolutely love is by Kat Von D and it's the tattoo um, liner. So the thing is, the reason why I love this is because it's waterproof and it actually stays on all day. That's what I have on my eyes right now. And um, I have a very oily eyelid so a lot of times when I use eyeliner it just smudges and smears by the end of the day. This is the one eyeliner that has lasted all day. And um, believe it or not, I actually just started to do cat, um, cat wing eyeliners on myself this year. I'm turning 30. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long, but it took me 30 years to realize that I should be doing a cat liner on myself. But this is the product that has really helped and it lasts all day. It's thin, hey? Like looking at your... Yeah. Like it's really nice. It's really easy to use. So you just gotta practice and I love that it's waterproof. It lasts all day long. That's really dark. Yeah, I like it a lot. Because I find even like I, I was using the um, like the pot ones by uh, MAC and it's like they're black black, like really black, but I'm like this, well, as I'm putting it on, I'm like this is not black enough for me. Right. But that looks really dark. Yeah. You should try it. I should, yeah. Okay, so my next product, um, I can't live without filling in my eyebrows because I was born in the 80s and... <laughs> You know, early 2000, we had very fun, like thin eyebrows, and it was so cool. Not as cool Did anymore. Did you have that hair, Jade? Well, the thing is, my eyebrows are naturally like I don't have very much hair, but whatever I did have, I plucked it. So yeah. it was like so super it was thin. thin. It okay. was really thin. And then now, like, there's certain areas that like never really grew in, like from ever, but certain areas that just from like over teasing my brows, like mm -hmm. they just don't grow in. And um, yeah, so I do have to fill them in always. Um, and I, sorry, I'm not very good with makeup, so I have to read what this is called because I, I'm not even sure. <laughs> That's okay. But it's the Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in Deep Dark Brunette. And this is amazing. I was actually using another one. It was like a pen by Geisha. Mm -hmm. And that one was really good too. I loved it. It looked really natural. The only thing with that was uh, we went to Miami in January and we were caught in a rainstorm and it started melting down. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to have our eyebrows melting. Yeah, so I had like one eyebrow and like the other one was like half there. So I had to change to this and this is really great. Like I don't find this has like even hot yoga, like nothing. It doesn't really smear at all. Um, and then I use a MAC angle brush, which is 266. And it's really nice because I can kind of like give it a nice fade yeah. in the front. So it doesn't look like too solid. It looks good. I like it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last product is another dry shampoo. Um, I like the dry texturizing spray by Orbe, and the reason why I like this is because it really does absorb all the oil in my hair. Um, I have really thick hair, and the top is healthy, so it gets really greasy really fast, and this is the, the spray that really helps get rid of it, and it does not leave a white felt. 
And also, um, the nickname we give this product is Back Home in a Bottle. So if you do want like volume, you can spray this into your hair after you blow dry it and just tease it and it really holds it in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And this is like, what did, what was the, the, the statistic on this? Like it sells out in North America. Oh, what? We sell like one bottle a minute or something? I think it used to be like one bottle every two minutes and now like they did like another. Yeah, now it's like one per minute. One In per North minute. America. One per minute for this product. All you need to do is try it out. We, um, they do sell it in travel sizes, so if you're weary of buying a large bottle, buy the travel size and guarantee you will just stick to this product. It's amazing. Yeah. It's like, it has, but the thing with that is like it's very strong, like it's a very strong product. Mm -hmm. So you always want to start with a little bit. If you need more, yes. you could always go in and add a little bit more. Don't just go crazy right away. Yeah, don't go crazy. With, with this one, I do go a little crazy right away, but I can get away with that because this is this doesn't have the same texture as that. That is dry texturizing. Yeah. This is a dry shampoo. Yeah. All right, so that's it for our favorite beauty products for now. And please let us know um, what you like to use on your everyday hair routine. And let us know if you use any of ours. Like, yeah. Let us know what you think of them or exactly. different ways to use them. And do you have any recommendations for us? We're, we're open to anything. Or if you have allergies, let me know what do you use. Yes, what do you use <laughs> on your eyes? Because Harjit's eyes are very, very sensitive and she needs um, recommendations on whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, tune in next time and please follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.